Welcome back, Cass. I'm Judy. And I'm JJ. And we're back with the first edition of On the Fly for the new school year. Let's start off with some quick updates. This year, PTV welcomes its new advisor, Mr. Alton, who spent many hours over the summer break renovating the studio. Let's check them out with SJ and David. I'm Mr. Alton and um, I've taken over PTV uh, from Ms. Ramsey. When I offered to take on the role um, from Ms. Ramsey, uh, the first time I walked into the PTV studio, it wasn't the, the best of classrooms. So yeah, I spent a lot of uh, summer hours uh, working on ordering furniture, ordering these tables, these couches. So yeah, we bought a lot of uh, new equipment, uh, mainly focusing on accessories for, for mobile phones. I ordered some standing tables. Uh, we've got couches for a more sort of relaxed environment. Uh, we're going to get uh, one more iMac, I believe, just to help out with that video editing. A one-line PTV future prospect. So one thing I'm mainly looking forward to is the improvement in editing and the quality of the video. The 2021 school year has now begun, and that means that we have new teachers and students. That being said, let's follow Yuna and Jaeyoung as they introduce some new faces. I don't want to let you down. It's the only thing I think about every morning. You know my life ain't figured out. But I promise if you stick around, it'll never get boring. We'll spend... Hello, KAS community. My name is Rob Donish. Hi, I'm Miss Sherrier. Hi, I'm Olivia. Hi, I'm Ronnie Sherrier. Hi, everybody. My name is Mr. Cressman. My name is Mrs. Pereira. Hi, I'm Safano. Hello, my name is Sanford Jones. I'm from Brazil. I am coming from Saudi Arabia. And I'm from Dubai. I am from Waterloo, Ontario. And I'm coming from Virginia. I'm originally from Brazil. And I am from Westminster, Massachusetts. I am the new KIS Applied Learning Specialist. I'm a high school counselor here at KIS. I'm teaching English 9 and English 12. I'm a junior. And I teach high school PE. Uh, one thing I'm looking forward to at KIS is the awesome facilities. I'm super excited to be here at KIS. One. One. Yes. Aside from these new people, we also welcome Mr. Quimby, Ms. Rios, Ms. Kathleen Evans, Ms. Emily Evans, Mr. Sampson, Ms. Chen, and Ms. Lin. Over break, many things have changed. However, these alterations haven't been limited to school facilities and regulations. The KS grading system has also faced changes. Follow Michelle and Kelly as they hear out student and teacher perspectives. My name is Mr. Fazio. Um, I teach AP Physics um, and AP Research. Like rather than focusing on like looking at a student's work and be like, okay, how many points did they get? And like, and every question is just like, how many points did they earn? How many points did they earn? It's much more like, like stepping back and looking at a list of skills and saying like, okay, what are the things the student has to be showing? And I think it's also really helpful in terms of just the way students view their own performance because rather than seeing like a 75, they see a bunch of successes and then like something they need to work on. And I know that's really hard, especially because there's, there's all this cultural stuff surrounding grades and, and students are scared of it, and parents are scared of it. And a lot of people have to change the way they think about things to, to grade that way. Hello, my name is Tae Chung Hong. I am a junior in KIS. Um, I have mixed feelings about the new grading system. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I also understand why the school is taking this approach. But I don't think that the last system was particularly bad either. I think that KIS could have maybe told us earlier, maybe before school started or informed us before we came to campus so that we could, I guess, mentally prepare ourselves for changes. Because there already was a new grading system last year and I had a really hard time adjusting, I know that this year the new grading system will also have a large impact on my student life. I understand that removing the percentages was a necessary change. However, I do think that they were an important part of grades when it came to knowing exactly where I'm at. Student organizations are back with better plans and prospects. Let's see what the cooking club has in store for us. Here's Judy and Mina. We decided to have an alternating schedule where people on campus cook and then people 
off campus, give them a live view of what's happening. We're looking at making food this semester that uh, will help students uh, in understanding not just how to prepare food, how food is created the way it's created and everything that goes behind what we put into our stomachs. Mm, I can't wait to eat. This guy, this guy will do it. KIS has a new assistant principal. Follow Matthew and his interview with Mr. Voller. question everybody's wondering about and everyone's asking is um, who is this new man in town right so <laughs> who are you <laughs> so my name is Brian Voller uh, I'm coming to KIS most recently from Ecuador uh, where I was the associate principal and IB program coordinator there uh, and before that we called Minnesota home and I had taught in uh, public schools there for 10 years before we started our our international schools journey well, Yes, so obviously you mentioned community mm -hmm. about KIS, and I think one thing that's really big here in our school is sports, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like a lot of people might wonder what your actual favorite sport is. Yeah, yeah. so I, I really love cross-country running. Um, I used to coach back in, in Minnesota uh, and track as well, and so those are kind of my, my go-to high school sports. Um, but I also love basketball. I love watching basketball. Um, I don't play as much as I used to, but I, I really enjoy, and I think especially at the high school level, I love high school basketball and the energy uh, and the enthusiasm. And I can't, I'm, I'm really hopeful that we can get that sport up and running this year um, because it'd be such a thrill to come back and, and have, a, have a basketball season. So I asked a lot of my friends um, what, what I should ask you. And, one, and a lot of them said, um, since he's new to Korea, have you had your opportunity to try your um, try uh, your amount of uh, Korean food? <laughs> we have been, yeah. So we've been out in the neighborhood a few times. Um, we've had uh, is it dakalbi? Dakalbi. Dakalbi. Oh, I I almost I almost didn't leave the restaurant. I was so so happy with that. Um, we had that, and yeah, we've tried a few things. Um, we've tried um, gimbap. And we've really liked that. We've tried Korean barbecue. We had uh, a few teachers from Chaos took us out. And so we had our first Korean barbecue, which was amazing. Well, thank you for your time. Absolutely. That, that's it? Yes. Easy. Everyday life is being affected by this pandemic. Entering the campus, walking around the school, and even conversing with our peers are faced with limitations. Here's Han Se Jang. Yes, we are right outside our CAS soccer field to inform you on new and important protocols that everyone on campus must follow. Follow me. As soon as you walk in, there will be a number of teachers that will be checking your temperature. There will be a number of stations around the school, but please make sure that you get checked and do not skip through it. Sanitize your hands as soon as you come in, and once the teacher says you're good to go, you may continue. As you can see on the ground, there are blue arrows and red arrows indicating whether to go up and down. Blue arrows indicate going up. Red arrows indicate going down. Please do not go down the main stairs and go up the back stairs. These new protocols are meant to benefit everyone's safety, well-being, and health. Teacher, what are you doing, man? Get around. You're not supposed to go up there. As you can see, we are entering the cafeteria where the current seniors are having lunch. Once you sit in your spot, please do not walk around or change your spot. Get your lunch or stay seated until a faculty member or teacher gives you permission to do otherwise. Stay safe, students. Thank you for watching. I'm JJ. And Judy. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> if that turned out well, we could use it.